do this thing real quick orders when did we get them what time is it it's 2200 14 may okay we got these orders 18 hours ago I guess the order said Western Norwegian Sea, huh? Or did it even specify which part of the which part of the sea they were headed towards there? Ah, okay, just Norwegian Sea. I remember saying something about going to a certain part of the Norwegian Sea. So yeah, let's go wait by Trondheim. <clears throat> We can try and hit them out in open water here. Not sure which way they're going to come. Are they going to come through the North Sea or through the Gaik Gap here? Oh, don't even think about it, Mr. Destroyer. Here they come. Perfect. No layer, okay. <laughs> Doesn't make too much of a difference, but at least we can get deep. Yeah, let's do it. 083. It's a weird one. On sonar, new contact bearing. 286. Designated Sierra 1. Con sonar new contact bearing two nine seven designated zero. All right, what we got here? Oh, I don't think I intro. Hey everyone, Con FPS Chazel here. Welcome back to Cold Waters Dot Mod eighty four Soviet three. campaign in the Victor three some more. We might be uh, sonar, Sierra, on the cusp of Oscar, escort. but uh, we will see if we get it today. It's just going to be luck of the draw if we get some uh, Con sonar, some Sierra, fruitful mission assignments escort. here. Sonar Sierra three is classified as merchant. Is it just going to be these three? It's all we're getting so far, and they're all. The reason I say these three is they're all pretty well into detection threshold. So I would expect to. I would expect to see some more, but alas, no. At the moment, at least. Okay. Magoo, Con hello. Pull me away from catching up on your other Cold Waters three, videos to watch your current Cold Waters four. video. Oh, you mean this stream? <laughs> Sierra Chitiri. We got sub. Now. Perry? Now. Con sonar new contact bearing two. Moichin. Designated Sierra 5. Okay, the other ones are starting to come into view here. Another lander. Sierra 5 is classified as merchant. Right, well, we're, we are square in front, so I guess we might as well drive this way, huh? Yeah, and they're pretty good ways off. The 25 kilometer close to actually was uh, a little pertinent today. Uh, you know what? We don't need to go completely onto them. I want to keep the toad unmasked. So let's do yeah, this. It's a little deeper here, too. No reason to stay near the surface. Sierra 6. It shows it's faded, but we can still classify it. I don't know if that's a bug or what. Did I reset this? This might be a sub. Eh, maybe not. Maybe a Nox. Hard to say, pretty faint. I guess we could cycle through the subs and see if anything even lines up for this. Can rule it out that way. Yep, not a sub. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go with Nox then. Oh yeah, there you go, okay. He must be juicing it up or pinging.
Okay, a bit more sizable of a force. Three targets right up the middle there. Tycon and everything's uh, ass rock capable, so we got ass rocks up front. What's the sound like? Okay, it's pretty damn quiet out here. Oh yeah, so we're just gonna sit and wait. Wait for them to catch up. I have a feeling there might be a parry over here. Seems weird that it wouldn't be complete. And parries are pretty quiet, so there might be a parry. At that position back there. <clears throat> this lovely sunset. And we'll just speed it up. There's no need to wait the full time here. Okay, looks like another Nox then. Yeah, so yesterday I got out to the uh, the USS Torsk Submarine Museum in Baltimore yesterday. That was fun. I uh, it was really fun. It was a good time. I could swear I went there as a child once, but. It's hard to remember because I went to the, uh, I also visited the USS Pampanito in San Francisco four years ago, so it kind of like has overwritten any Torsk memories I had as a kid. But cool to see the Torsk because it's, uh, now that I know more, it's actually a, a guppy converted boat served in the Cold War. Whereas I think Pampanito was decommissioned either at the end of World War II or just didn't get the guppy conversion and was decommissioned then. <clears throat> Hilti brand, hello. 29,000 cabins going on. So, I've recorded some video. Got a lot more material to work with for the Torsk Museum than uh, I did with Battleship North Carolina. So, look for USS Torsk tour video coming soon. Rathchk. Thank you for following. <laughs> Sorry for butchering your name. Oh boy. Do we have another sound collision scenario going on here? Oh, that's a great shot. Look at that. That lighting back there. That is nice. Glad you're going for the Usker. Oh yeah. I I I would like to try a Kula. I've played Usker before, but uh we'll just go Usker. If I get to a point where I haven't beaten the campaign and I and I have enough points, maybe I'll go to Oscar or uh go to a Kula at that point. So I would like to try it. Okay, I feel like I've never noticed the Nox Sea Wiz all the way back there. Interesting layout. What well, kind of Oscar? Best actor? Best script? <laughs> Sound design. I don't know. <laughs> Switch to the mic and the game is basically over. Sub can out dive any NATO weapon. Interesting. Can you shoot down there or do you have to come up shallow? I thought I heard somewhere that the mic had to come shallow to shoot torpedoes. Oh, let's 
turn the HUD back on. That would be good. I just missed this thing taking a crazy turn, yeah. <laughs> Interesting, I'm getting FPS dip. Not sure why. 39 FPS, 38. That's odd. <laughs> Can shoot the Oost at 80 from 599. This could be a submarine. Yep. Con sonar Sierra Eight is classified as submerged submarine. Ah, no! Don't bother with the stallions. Con, Just get shot down. <clears throat> Whoa, what the hell was that? Like a flashlight was shining on it. That was very weird. Okay, they've closed this distance a little sooner than I thought. We're, we're getting close to firing range here. That sturgeon's gonna be annoying. Dip -a -dip -a -doo. What's a drinking? I'm drinking a uh, animal IPA from Denizen's Brewing Company. The hazy IPA, it's yummy. IPA yourself, that is fine. I don't really like uh, German or Belgian beers for the most part. Like all those beers with like a lot of wheat going on, I don't really like that. All that weird kind of sweetness. <clears throat> Third time I've seen the AI Sturgeon and dot mod haven't been watching the streams much yeah I, this might be around like number 10 somewhere in that neighborhood for me here yeah, the sturgeon has not been pinging once he does the jig is up The question is which way are these merchants going to turn when the shit starts flying? I think they're all going to turn to... I would assume they're all going to turn to port. also not the biggest concern if they run away we can chase them i think maybe we should try and focus on excuse me these two guys at first uh well the bigger boats have a tendency to run away time is ticking down here i might have like a minute until we gotta shoot here but 
Is the Belknap gonna run away? Is the Ticonderoga gonna run away? Are they both gonna run away? It's about a minute and, well, maybe two or three till active, but getting very close to ass rock range here. I can't say for certain which one. I feel like I've seen more of Sturgeon, Permit. Skipjack or LA. Probably it's it's gotta be Sturgeon or Permit. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen an LA by itself. No, that's not true. One of those carrier groups had a soul soul LA. Okay. Let's uh get ready for this. Helm left two, two, nine, <clears throat> two. Helm I. Seventeen people. Well, well. Quite the stream. Why did the Ticonderoga's, Ticonderoga's toad signature disappear? It was at seven a second ago, wasn't it? Just, just went away. Silent running. Uh, it's really not the passive that gets me at this point anymore. It's the active. So we just turned in on that Ticonderoga, reduced our active cross-section bought ourselves a little bit more time we are within ass rock range though <clears throat> stewie what's up man con helm steady course i think i'm gonna give the starch and a three torp spread launch a waker at the tycon no, maybe I'll just reload one of these Usits. Trying to bide time, waiting for where to see where these merchants are going to go. I guess I could shoot active torps at these merchants. Or passive even, for that matter, but... It's kind of tricky as to where they're going to end up running to. We can slow down a little bit. We don't need to speed up our, our date with destiny here. 14 knots, it's going 13 already. Okay, that's that's actually useful. 18 knots, 14 knots. Now the sturgeon needs a spread though. Con maneuvering, making turns for three knots. I'm gonna shoot a 65 centimeter at this Tycon Derogo when I get it, get it running. Sturgeon. I guess in theory I could figure out how far he could displace with a sprint here. But not easy to do that at the moment. Okay, yeah, the merchants are turning back this way. Let's get let's get moving here. One, five, not maneuvering up. Shoot two five. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra eight. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one five not. All right, I think I want to do. No, we'll keep the noisemaker in reserve in case we get pounded with frickin' Make turns. ass Not rocks sonar. here. We are cavitating. Not the noisemaker, the moss. Con sonar, <clears throat> no longer cavitating. Oh, I was gonna say, I almost want those other, those 5332 tubes to load first. 
But uh, I don't think I can stop the 65 centimeter tube from loading at this point. Eighty-four. There were five skipjacks, thirteen permits, thirty-seven sturgeons, and twenty-two LA. There were that many LA in commission at that point. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> OST is more dangerous than ass rock. Why? Okay, I actually want to boogie a little more of these Mark 48s flying around down here. Make turns four, two, I'll just full five. flank it. Make turns four, three, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, torpedo room, tube. Come right to, two, two, six, helm eye. Uh, I am on an older version of dot mod, so I don't know if the Mark 46s can go that deep for me on this version. <clears throat> I was that sturgeon going to displace that torp? It's not the end of the world. It gets them away from me. So the, the Sturgeon's Mark 48s on me should be pretty sloppy snapshots. Shouldn't have to worry about that too much. We displaced a good 2,000 meters. Let's uh, let's slow down and try and listen for his inbounds. Man, that Tycon is booking. Ooh, look at that. You can see some of the ESA. That's like a weird little shininess put on it. Is that right? Is, is, is Aegis an ESA? I think I meant to say Aegis, but I said ESA. <laughs> Oh no, that, that was a good. That was a good launch from the surgeon. The hell, he must have been wire guiding that thing. All right, I can't have that. Let's uh, go this way. Ah oh, man, he's he's a bit far that I want to shoot at. <clears throat> I want to start shoot all those merchants yet. <clears throat> I was thinking the 80s was still the time of the, uh, the Sturgeon. Steady course. Didn't realize 20 were already in commission by 84. It's not so. Con sonar <clears throat> regained contact on Sierra 6, bearing 3, 1, 2. Uh, just for reference, what version of the Roddy, mod are you running, Goose Go? Because I've, I've blown up Mark 46s pretty regularly at like 400, 410 meters in this, this game. Con sonar oh, do I really have a torp heading in on the uh, Sturgeon there? Wow, I thought that was going to miss. Okay. Don't have to worry about his wires, then. Okay, we're good from this other Mark 48. Where's that next inbound going? 
Turn yeah, see, I'm still in. Nine. Excuse me, I'm still in 0 0.3 version Cons of dot mom. Regained contact on Sierra five bearing three one one. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra seven last bearing two nine two. Contact is in the baffles. Really in the baffles, huh? Okay. Okay, there's the other Mark 48. Con maneuvering, making turns for nine knots. Okay, are these guys settled out? And start engaging the Murchies. Oh, there's a Ticonderoga right there. Let's, uh, let's give this let's give this sturgeon something to talk about <clears throat> Con, torpedo room kind of want to like box him in here shoot two three I sir shoot two five Aye, sir. Make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, that torp's going for the so bell nap. Con. con maneuvering. Making turns for one, five knots. Okay, it seems like it always has active and wake turned on. It's just like going, going waker on that bell nap. Oh, the Ticonderoga has both of those usets on wake combing. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? <clears throat> it might be able to outrun these things, though. Come left to three, two, one, helm I. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra seven bearing two eight three. And yeah, that sturgeon cannot seem to hear anything of me at the moment because there's a torp going after this bell map that's about to hit. Three. Got a one shot. Yeah. Let's see if we can't quiet it up here. Okay, Sturgeon's gonna be pinging regardless. Uh, let's give him another one. Well, he's got one inbound. What's he gonna do? What you gonna do, Chicky Poo? Okay, where's Sierra 4? Sierra 4 is the wild card at the moment. Knox. Knox seems to be steaming this way. Uh, enable point maybe like this and this for these guys. Oh, we are close aboard with that sturgeon. Belknap trying to do Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Did not work. Uh, I think the Ticonderoga is going to evade our double helix wake action going on here. These things are going at like 45 degree angles, so like... Uh, what's their activated speed here? 48 knots? So they're only doing something like, I don't know, 35 knots effective closure speed? I think that Ticon is going to evade them. He's just straight beeline in it, 32 knots. Damn, he is making that <laughs> that lander look like it's standing still. All right, Sierra Four here. Shoot two, three. 
Aye, sir. Don't know what I had that torpedo set to, but I think it's fine. Launch transient from the Stoigen. Oh, Mr. Sierra 6 to the old button hook there. Okay, Sturgeon has a... Sturgeon has a wire. Can't have that. And Kadi, hello, thanks for following. Oh. Game sound died. I think it's because my ma my hand, my palm rests on my little I got a little thing to control what the stream is doing. And I think my hand rests on the little little desktop volume icon there, so I muted it by accident, but thank you for letting me know. Con, torpedo room, tube five ready. Okay, so I think Mr. Sturgeon should no longer have a wire, so let's go. Let's 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 end around. I was gonna, gonna stallion his ass. Maybe I still will. Bearing five. Still looks silly to me. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra six bearing three zero seven. Oh, I did not order a Helm course, just a rudder. Two seven zero Helm I. Make turns for one. Zero. Now let's just keep juicing for a second here. Make turns for three zero knots. Maneuvering I. Con, helm, steady course. Knox is close. Let's see what this uh, this Mark Forty Eight side should not be. Zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, did he do, did he evade that torpedo? Make turns for five. <clears throat> okay, there's the torpedo Make heading for the Knox. Yes, knots. we evaded that Mark Forty Eight. Good. Whoa. Torpedo in the water. Bearing two, seven, six. Shoot two, six. Aye, sir. Make turns for three, zero knots. Maneuver. Oof, got very freaking, very lucky there. I think that was Mr. Knox there. <laughs> Passing 700 feet. Con sonar. Noise may make depth four, one, one, die by. Ooh, someone nearly bullseyed my ass. Good God. <clears throat> Hearing us. Hello. 
The Sturgeon may, may very well defeat the Usa, but I'm just gonna... Just gonna kind of run away from him at the moment. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, three, one, six. Contact is in the baffle. Con sonar regained contact on. Sierra, one. Bearing, three, one, six. Con, helm, steady course. Oh, reacquisition from the Mark 46. Boom. That was a good shot on the Nox. That was a good shot. It must have been like a combination of luck. <laughs> Moss. Ooh, okay, that, that Usa reacquired. I wasn't expecting that. Ass Rock, Moss, and Noisemaker. Okay, I think the Nox is toast. It's given it a bit of a fight there. Ticonderoga is still running. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I think those Usets have long since run out of fuel. But the uh, those 65 centimeters are still heading for the the two landers. Ooh, speak of the devil. So the Ticonderoga is still seeing them and still running. Bam. Sierra, seven, left, come right to two, seven, five, helm, I. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, zero, three, five. Con, helm, city. I know it now, now's a chance to give that sturgeon something to, something to think about here. Make depth, six, one, die by. Let's give them something to think about. <clears throat> I don't think this Nox has any surface to air missiles. So I'm going to give the uh, Sturgeon some stallions. I know that Ticonderoga is over there, but I, I guess it might engage, but we'll just try. We'll give it a whirl. Oh, Rim 66A, okay. Oh, wait, that's Charles F. Adams. Con sonar, con sonar, we are cavitating. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Sturgeon is very deep. That's fine. We will give it some stallions. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing three three one. I think that Tord may have just run out of juice. He may have just turned, turned it down. In which case we don't need to engage him. This music is very intense for like the least intense portion of the battle thus far. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Stallions can go deep. Stallion torpedo of 500 meters. 
It's the uh, the other one. Starfish something. Whatever I had, whatever I had on the Charlie. Whenever that was, I couldn't really go that deep or that fast even. Ooh, that moss is gonna take their attention. Lovely. I guess that other. I saw shot some other moss earlier this way in the battle. Must have uh, run out of juicy. Oh, did this thing miss? Damn, it just missed. What the hell? Shoot two two. I sir. Okay, so we are gonna have to chase some crap down. Oh, the sturgeon. Okay. Five. Aye, sir. Shoot two three. Aye, sir. Oh, Ticonderoga is trying to engage. Well, well. Oh, I was like, what is that? That's the other... They're that close together, huh? Ooh, one did get intercepted. Good God. This one needed two? What's going on? Flaming torpedo? Yeah, okay. Well, that's not gonna work. Con, torpedo room, <clears throat> two, five, ready. Have to do it the old fashioned way then. This lander maneuvering indeed. I saw that torpedo transient on the map. I was like, what the hell is that? Helicopter just dropping random shit. <laughs> Sturgeon is not shooting at me. Sturgeon is shooting at the moss. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. But it's just it's just being dumb AI with respect to the moss though. Should be able to detect me. Um weapons. I was so far away.
Okay, plan. I'm trying to think of like, I want to get the Sturgeon defensive. But I don't. It's just so far away. It's going to be easy to thread the needle between some torps. But it's going to be annoying if we don't do anything. Deal with these surface ships as we come across them. It was all just a. I need to be able to chase down the merchants. Did I get one torp off at a merchant? Hopefully, we get a hit on that guy. Dive at two, one, three, dive by. But we cannot be certain of that. Don't want to get stuck in hindsight 2020, but if I had just used an Usit against that Ticonderoga instead, initially, I'd have one more 65 centimeter for this lander. But I did want to keep a Moss in reserve. It's always a good thing to do. Prudent. <laughs> Murphy's Law. <laughs> I don't think there's any battle that doesn't... Uh... I don't want to say suffer is not impacted by Murphy's Law. I got tons of torps. Let's give the Sturgeon a three torp volley. Get him defensive. Just trying to think if I should... I want to try and, like, maybe load the torps up on this side to force him to run that way. Because I just want to try and end around here towards the mergence. Can't really do stallions with that Ticonderoga out there. Ooh, something just blew up in the water over there. <laughs> That's fun to see. I think this Nox is going to get pwned by a Mark 48. Someone is. <clears throat> Cause this sturgeon should be should be shooting at me, but he's got like the weird little AI spell that goes on in this game. It's just fixed on fixed on that moss. <laughs> Sauron's eyes fixed on Rivendell. The ring cannot stay here. Oh, it's a passive torp. It's freaking passive torps. Okay. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. Start with one. Make turns for one. Oh, I can't do that. Damn it. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra eight bearing zero four. Con yeah, sometimes do fire the moss in the direction of the enemy ships. Not. Don't always want to do it. Okay, we gotta we reacquire that solution pretty quick. Let's just do one here. Shoot two four, aye sir. Let's just get cooking. Make turns for three Z. 
zero knots maneuvering eye. I think I got lost in a train of thought. I usually do like to shoot mosses into the middle. But I've found with uh, that can soak up your own torpedoes if you start shooting stuff that way, so... Shooting that moss is really to try and prevent that one Mark 46 that almost bullseyed me to not hit me. <clears throat> Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, four. Last bearing, three, three, three. Contact faded. I don't know what the hell's going on with these torpedoes being dropped. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. Con, dive at two, four, four, die by. Wait, I didn't click on that. I clicked on the Nox. I was like, why am I looking at a torpedo? Time. Gotta feed the cats in ten minutes. Not sure what these guys are doing. They're just kind of steaming this way at twenty. Oh, we are in Asrock range. Icon is booking. Maybe they're driving to that launch datum point for my stallions. You know, I guess they cannot hear me. They're going too fast. Knox can hear me, but he seems to... Is he going back toward the moss? What happened to that Mark 48? Okay, the sturgeon is going the complete opposite way I wanted it to. <laughs> the stowed array. <laughs> okay, they are. They're all about that moss. Yeah, the Mark 48 stayed with the moss, but when they like circle around to re engage is when they can get distracted. But it's just so quiet, I can't hear it. Oh, that just blew up. Yeah, they're very uh, moss fixated. Comically so. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying to engage them, but I don't think I'm going to hit them from here. Unless we wake them. But they might slow down and just sit there at some point. I don't know. Maybe we should give it a whirl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are just pretty far away.
I guess at this point we're just gonna wait to see what this uh where is it? Here it is. What my 65 centimeter ends up doing. Yeah, the sturgeon sidestepped those torps pretty well. Wasn't necessarily trying to sink him. I mean, I'll take a sinking. I'm not going to reject the sinking, but it's mostly trying to get him to go to the east. Wanted him to get the hell out of here so I could charge this way towards the, the landers. Oh, the moss just disappeared. Make turn Did it? One, zero knots. Maneuvering I thought this CR3 sh just turned to a uh, sunk. My eye caught something changing here. I think the moss just disappeared. This battle might be over and we need to disengage. Everyone here is pinging at the moment. Make turns for eight knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns for eight knots. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra eight bearing zero four five. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra eight last bearing zero four five contact faded. I am giving my full side to those pings because I'm debating. I mean, I'm likely. I think I'm just my my course of action is just to launch a a broadside basically and just run away, or at least just try and distract him for a bit. I'm really just trying to wait to see what this 65 centimeter torp is going to do, if it's going to get this merchant or not. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 8 bearing. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. <laughs> Con sonar regained contact on Sierra eight bearing zero four five. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh, that sturgeon's kind of far. Ticonderoga. Shoot two five. I can we ping and get that sturgeon? Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Con sonar, recon sonar, launch transient from Sierra eight. Make turns for one. Zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one zero knots. Con torpedo room two four ready. Oh, he's so far away. Hello. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing. No, Zero, don't deploy two, it. Seven. I'm gonna retract. Make turns for one five knot. Make turns for three zero knot. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar. Switching the passive search. Passing one thousand feet. 
passing 1,100 feet. Oh, come on. Where's my flank? Where's my flank? Passing 1,300 feet. Uh, Ooh. I didn't realize I was that deep. Got lucky. <laughs> Why the hell it wasn't already at freaking 30 knots? <clears throat> Wolf pack rated. Oh my god. What are those green crosses? Uh, these little range markers you can put. So for these ones, I was uh, noting where the torpedo activation point was, and then this time lost track of the sturgeon. So marking where where he was at. Brown pants, indeed. <laughs> Goddamn passive torpedoes, dude. I hate them. I hate them. Okay, that sturgeon is just driving towards our our inbound USA. Hey, thanks, Wolfpack. Did someone take the name Wolfpack three four five? Yeah, to append live to it. What the hell is that? <laughs> I guess that's a somewhat common name. That sucks though. You have my sympathies. <laughs> Come left to two seven seven helm I. There are indeed aircraft carriers, not to play as, but you can sink them. Ooh, all the ass rocks. Okay, this guy's gonna need need some more need some more dissuasion here. I've been hemorrhaging torp is where we're sitting at. One torp left. Good god. Okay, this fight is all but over. Fourth of July, eighth of May. What's eighth of May? Is that a Great Patriotic War Victory Day? Russia, Soviet Union. Turn south. I know that Sturgeon shot some some Mark 48 at some point. It's a bit far away, but we got stuff to occupy. This Ticonderoga and this Knox. And we're really just trying to kind of uh, bide our time until the 65 centimeter torp heads for this merchant. Still waiting for that, and hopefully it's not going to miss. <laughs> You know what? Well, depends which way the uh. Contact on Sierra six bearing. What was I doing when that sturgeon launched? I think it was like going this way. So I probably launched that torp to uh. Lead on a westerly course because I was gonna say I should I could I could run westerly as much as I am southerly, still try and catch up to these things. Yeah, we're resting on a wing and a prayer. We got one torp heading out for a Murchie. Excuse me. I don't have solutions on the merchants, so I can't see where this torp is at. This might be the, the one that missed Sierra 5 originally. This might be the one going for Sierra 4. Or did I re-engage Sierra 5? I do not remember. Sonar lost contact. Hey, zero, okay, six, we got the Nox. Bearing, zero, two, five. Contact breaking up. How many merchants do you have to sink? Uh, it's always been majority. So if I get two out of three, we're golden. That is, of course, assuming I detected all of them. I'm fairly certain I did. <laughs>
want to at least get outside of Ticonderoga Knox range before I try and see where the Sturgeon's Mark 48 is, but if that Ticonderoga has not started evading yet, he is running me down possibly at a two knot closure. It is weird how quiet they can be. I think it's because the game kind of very linearly treats noise scales regardless of platform. Because it's like, yeah, sure, the merchant... And what I mean is, like, the merchant has a top speed of 14, those ones we're engaging, but the game's like, oh, 14 knots, that's like a quiet speed. It's like, no, that's the merchant going flat out. It should still be loud as hell. Alright, I dare... I dare take a peek. Come right to two, six, eight, helm I. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra eight. Last bearing zero four two. Contact is in the baffles. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one. Bearing zero one two. Con helm steady course. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra. <laughs> regained contact on a sinking ship. Con sonar regained contact on. Make make turns for one zero. Make turns for eight knots. Maneuvering eye. Oh, Team Abella01, thanks for following, by the way. I missed, uh, I saw your notification, but I was busy at the moment. A lot of stuff going on. But thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Alright, what do we got? No, don't retract the toad. Deploy the toad. Okay, there's that Mark 48. Seems like it does not have a wire. Where are my torpedoes? I could have sworn I shot one at the Tycon that was, uh, maybe the enable point was a bit too close. Did it just go? Is that it? It just went right on by? Hmm. Con sonar could do something more like this. I have a choice. Ticonderoga's close. It's our, uh, our last torpedo. Is there nothing else? Doesn't anybody have any missiles left? We don't have a choice. Oh, I don't want him to turn and this thing misses. I do it. Yeah, I don't want to think about drowning, drowning inside a sinking ship. Tycon dropped a noisemaker. It must have worked. I'm thinking I set the enable point for the torpedo too close. We are at quite a depth, so it would have had to ascend. And by the time it ascended, it was probably already behind the Tycon Dorogo. Is my guess. Because usually if they hit a noisemaker, they circle back. So he's just out there snaking. Just merrily doing this thing. <sighs> okay, well, we can like surface next to these merchants and shout at them. <laughs> that is a weird notation. Negative one usage in the tube, one on the rack. Mathematically, it makes sense, but practically, it makes no sense. If I change tubes, does that go away? No.
Oh, what did I say? Like here, enable point. Oh, there you go. Ticonderoga, the Usa did miss the Ticonderoga earlier. I'm thinking my enable point was too close. And, uh, you're talking like 60 knot closure speed, so I think by the time the torpedo got to depth, it was already on the other side of the Ticonderoga, so. It's one of these things with the map, the I lose sense of scale, because these rings don't, like, change with zoom to kind of let you know you're at a different range. Dangerous Waters did a good job with this. So I, I always put the torpedoes too close to the enable point. If they're close aboard. Or I have a tendency to do that at least. I'm pretty deep to try and evade. Mark 46 is here. Likely this torpedo is missed by this point. And by this torpedo, I mean the uh, 65 centimeter against one of these merchants. Terminal homing. No, it's way coming. Dive at three zero five. Dive by. Are we close? It's all for naught, though. God damn, that other torpedo had to miss, didn't it? It was my last shot. My last two up. Oh, there's terminal. Oh, not yet. No, sorry. Spoke too soon. There you go. What the hell is that nonsense? Okay, well, just gotta swing back into it now. <laughs> oh, it didn't sink it. Well, well. Okay, we are sufficiently far away from this thing that it can't over the side torp us, but it can still ass rock us, so let's keep moving. I don't wanna try and like See these merchants, see what's up with these torpedoes. It was burning, dead in the water. So we'll probably succumb to its wounds. We'll wait for the fire to consume it just to, uh, just because I'm waiting for the merchants to see if they're gonna get hit with one of these 6576s. But in the meantime, I'll be right back. Gotta feed my cats. <laughs> Okay, we're back. The Dank Astro. Hello. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. 
Seeing people play with epic mod that Waycomers seem to track better. Is that a false observation? In the game or in uh, real life? Surprise, hey, what's going on? Cooking some dang sausage, bubber. Be back in 69, whatever. <laughs> dang it, bubber. Ball. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we really are just waiting to see if uh, a 65 centimeter is still chasing one of these guys down, but I think they've missed. Presently, just trying to get outside of the range of this Ticonderoga. So it can't ass rock me. <laughs> so let's just get it over with. Let's just flank. Instead of sitting here at 15 knots. It's one of those things I always think about is like 15 knots for like 10 minutes or 30 knots for 5 minutes. Or is that a false dichotomy? I don't know. <laughs> These are the things that go through my head. Which is the better situation? Probably 15 knots for 20. I'm sure it's a very situation dependent. In terms of like noise emitted and ground covered and all that stuff. Someone with a math degree has thought about all these things, I'm sure. <laughs> Slower the better. Oh, well, it would be nice if this could shade this, but that's fine. <clears throat> Okay, we're outside ass rock range. Make turns for five knots, maneuvering eye. Come left to two, seven, three, helm I. Sierra 5, bearing 3, 5, 0. Ooh, Mark 48, huh? Con maneuvering, making Another Mark 48. Five, oh, this nine. goddamn stoigen. <clears throat> okay, so I think your endos was proved correct there. I think, that Mark, I think that sturgeon hurt me on that 30 knot run there. <clears throat> Just one of the 65 centimeters is still running. The other one ran out of ran out of fuel. So I think it missed. Come left to two one two helm I rig ship for ultra quiet. Well, damn. I wish if you sank all the escorts, like it, it would, it would fail. Because there's nothing to protect the landing then at that point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of variables that come into play. Because obviously, if you're like in the middle of the ocean, it doesn't really matter.
And this guy's like dead in the water, so. Should have had the presence of mind to be like, yeah, he's not gonna shoot me. Okay, Torps. Where we be, Torps? I don't even see any merchants around, so I'm fairly certain this missed. Mono P87, thanks for following. Are Mark 48 hard to evade? Very. They're fast, 55 knots. Damn good seeker. Lots of range. Yeah, I don't even see like any merchant ships out here. I'm fairly certain this torpedo is uh Con, helm. Steady course. long gone. How did it miss? It's always the question. Come right to. Oh, don't Three, do that. Five, zero. Helm I. Come left to. Two, one, four. Helm oh, the Oos had restocked. I think once it blew up, it got. It did something. There must be some weird bug with like the last torpedo. Damn it. I wish I had timestamps. I could better keep track of when I shot torps. That thing is probably way the hell out here somewhere. Just sailed on by. Okay, well this mission's gonna be a big old a big old L. Big loss on this one. Fire a man pad at the heli. <laughs> I think it's a fixed model. But that would be funny, wouldn't it? Just made me think of like dangerous waters where when you look in the periscope and you see a helicopter that looks like it's just flying over the ship. It's just a weird artifact of how that game models distance on ships. It just like artificially lowers them to make it look like a curved horizon. But it doesn't do the same for the helicopter that's on the flight deck, so it's just. Looks like it's just hovering above the ship there. Oh, these guys are just out in the ether. Look at that. Open bridge. I'm running very low on weapons indeed. <laughs> this battle is actually uh, all but over. No idea where this torpedo is. It's way the hell out of Pearl. I can't even see anything on the horizon. <clears throat> yeah, it missed. So now we're off to uh, just disengage here. Oh. Seven. Contact faded. Put out the fire. Come right to two five zero. But Helm still dead in the water. It's interesting. So with those launchers being offset here and then this other space over here. Doesn't even have a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, I have nothing. <laughs> Better hope we don't run into anything on the way back to base. Okay, we're clear. Mm. Disappointing outing, to be sure. Oh... Still call shenanigans on the landing. No functional escorts.
All right, let's try and zippity doo dah back to base here. Oh, satellite, no. Jesus Christ, that was so close. All right, what will the next... This is actually going to be the end of the stream, but what will the next mission be? Oh, underway replenishment supply vessels. Okay. Rearm and repair there, dude. Maybe we should bring five of these things. Two stallions. I think we've got a lot of... The rest on the Usits. I think that, I think, oh, the numbers work out to the same. I think I had 13 last time. Okay, that's fine. Here's the prestige for Oscar. I do indeed, but it costs 300 to change vessels at this point because of how much I've done it. So I really need 1500. <clears throat> Dip -a -dip -a -do. All right, anchors away. Anchors away. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.